Hey, what's up, SB Warriors? Paul K here, and welcome to today's show. I kind of want to share something that happened to me, and I'm mentally embarrassed to discuss it. Um, so let's get into it. Hey, guys, if you're like me, you've always had a desire to do more. And deep inside, you've known there's a way and a possibility for you to achieve your dreams, the lifestyle, and achieve the freedom you've always wanted. Because we have what it takes to get things done and learn from others and get the mindset to achieve the dreams we've always wanted. Welcome to SB Warriors. Woo! So the other day, I was really cranking away. I was, I was probably getting average in about four hours of sleep. And it's not my norm because I've been working a super, I've been working a lot. And so when you're driving like 50 miles a day, you're doing a side gig and then you're doing the other gig, which is all this entrepreneurial stuff. You're like, you're hustling mad, mad, mad hustling. And so a lot of times people are like, oh, I don't have time to do this. I'm like, well, you, you make the time. Now, in this case, I really probably should have pulled in the range just a little bit because I really believe it's important to focus on your body, your mind, like your overall spirit, including like what you put into it. And it helps me have clarity and focus. Well, this time I got out of whack, very center focused to finish this uh, launch. And so what ended up happening is I went to bed super late. I think I got about three and a half hours of sleep. And I remember I was such an idiot. I even screenshot the, uh, where's my phone? I even screenshot, it was like three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, screenshot, Instagram posts, you know, thinking I'm super cool and for being this like ultra badass uh, entrepreneur. And what I ended up doing was really just really hurting myself because the next morning, my son, um, he was also, didn't get a lot of sleep or as much as he normally was. And I don't know if he's fighting something and he, when he gets like that, he gets a little extra sensitive. So I'm like, hey, dude, let's go. I'm taking him to school. You know, I went to bed. It was past three. I was up early. And so I'm like, come on, let's brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. And so you, if you're a parent, you have this routine. You want to get him out the house. You don't want to be, you want to be on time for work, for school. And so like, I'm like, let's go. And so like the fifth time, I'm like, tell him to brush his teeth. I'm like, all right, dude, brush your teeth. Let's just go. And so we get him finally in the car. And so we're sitting in the car. And I'm like warming it up because it's about 40, 40, 50 degrees. And that's a little cold for Southern California. And so I'm trying to warm it up. And he has this, um, he ended up getting chapped lips because it's it's so cool here. And he hasn't been putting anything on it. He's got this weird thing he doesn't like to put on it. So if you're a parent, you know, if, if your kid has a particular like problem and you try to solve that problem. So I'm like, okay. And I'm like trying to put on some lotion around his mouth so I could just kind of dab it and just kind of touch it. And he's like pulling back and I'm like, get over here. And he's like pulling back, not listening. He, he, he could have been putting a foot in my face for all it felt like. And I just snapped. I'm like, get over here. I've told you. Blah, 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 blah. And then I just see his face. And I was just like, ah, oh, what am I doing? Like, I just, I knew at that moment that it was a series of moments that led up to this blow up. And it was me, like it was me. And so it was like, I was like, I'm, they're the reason why I work so hard and stay up so late and put in all these hours. But because I got selfish, greedy, or just trying to kind of caught up too much into it, I didn't think the big picture. And like everything I do affects everybody I'm in touch with. And and this is true for all of our businesses. Like especially if you're the owner, you like you are the leader of that ship. And if your mind isn't right, you haven't taken the time to exercise to get you to the release, you don't have the same patience to deal with certain stuff and you're you're just drawing on your reserves. And you know what? I had gotten so fed up and I realized just by seeing my son what I blowing up on him, I was like, oh man, like, like it's not right. So I apologized and, and then just kind of like had to share this because it was kind of like a moment where, you know, it's like, it's not okay because I, I'm the adult there, you know, he's six going on seven and he's, he's reacting because he's, 
you know, the kids, they're, they live in what the id or ego, I don't know exactly, but they're reacting, you know, like, he's like, he really doesn't want it, but he needed it. And I reacted. And I'm like, you know, there is a better way. There's a better way I can make a stronger impact on my son so that he can uh, benefit from the small, short amount of time that we're around each other, that he can benefit from learning from me and have an open atmosphere where he wants to be around me. And so we talked and we drove and, uh, you know, I apologized and told him what was going through my mind and, you know, like how it's important that we communicate to each other. And, and I, I let him know, like, look, I found that disrespectful, you know, at the same time I was short and I shouldn't have been. And so we got into it. We got, I mean, we didn't get into it. We, we got to school and we were buddies, you know, talking, doing the normal stuff. And, but it, it really had to humble myself. And I'm thinking, you know, I know I'm not the only parent out there who's trying to, you're here and you want to be here and you want to create this lifestyle for your family. And you're like pushing, pushing, pushing. But then if you end up pushing them away, then it's like, okay, well, well, the point is to be closer to your family. And so if you can learn anything from my mistake, it's like, holy cow, and take away. It's just like, you know what? I, I, I felt embarrassed. Um, and it's like, you know what? I can be a better parent. And it was a good, it was a good learning point for me. And hopefully you guys can, can relate a little bit. And uh, hopefully you don't experience it. And, and, you know, gosh, it just felt awful awful and if you're you're a parent you understand exactly what i'm talking about holy cow but we're cool you know we're cool and so what i'm trying to do is stay on track take care of my mind take care find my outlets because i'm usually rejuvenated i usually have a better spark when i work out i usually talk differently i have all these different things when i eat right sleep better i'm still probably not going to get more than five hours of sleep just due to the way things are but at the same time, I understand that, you know, that's something I can, I've, I'm okay with that. That's something I have to deal with. And, but the thing is right here, my mindset and how I deal with this, my approach to things, but also what I can do to help mitigate the physical aspects so I can stay in control of myself, especially when dealing with situations I don't want to be dealing with. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you guys can take something away from this. Keep pushing, but in balance. Find your find your rhythm, take care of your body, and uh, you know what? Next time we'll talk a little bit about some cool stuff related to business and actually creating offers to get people get more people in through your doors so you're not ending up like me going ah at three o'clock in the morning thinking you're cool and you're not. Have a great one, SB Warriors. Stay up, keep doing your thing. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Hey, SB Warriors, thanks for listening to today's podcast. If you'd like to get more information on how you can grow your business, we have a free book at sbwarriors.com. Click on the free book offer. It's an advertising blueprint for small business owners to help get their business to the next level. Also, if you like this podcast, we ask that you give feedback on iTunes, rate it so we can help get out the message to more business owners just like you. Have a great day, and thanks for listening. See you next time.